Today through this video we will learn how to do control wiring of a single phase submersible pump starter. As you can see I have a distribution box here in which I will mount all the electrical components and I will explain you the wiring. I will explain you the wiring through a circuit diagram so that you can understand everything. The submersible pump starter that I am going to make at the moment is for a single phase motor which will be of 1 horsepower. Now let's understand what electrical components are required for a 1 horsepower submersible pump. To start and stop a 1 horsepower submersible pump, we need two capacitors. One capacitor will be used for starting and the other will be used for running. One of the capacitors used for 1 horsepower will be of 50 microfarad. This means that the running capacitor will be of 50 microfarad and the starting capacitor will be of 120 or 150 microfarad. Apart from the capacitor, we have to use a contactor. I am using a 2 pole contactor at the moment. The current rating of this 2 pole contactor is 16 ampere. This means that through its power wiring, we can flow maximum of 16 ampere current. Apart from the power rating of the contactor, we also have to pay attention to the voltage of the coil of the contactor. If you look at the coil of this contactor, it is written 142 to 20 volt. This means that we can easily provide a single phase power supply to operate this contactor. Apart from this contactor, we have to use a MCB. I am using a 16 ampere MCB to make this starter. After this, I will use an ammeter here. The range of this ammeter is 0 to 30 ampere. After this, I will use a voltmeter to measure the voltage. My voltmeter can easily measure the voltage from 0 to 500 volt. Apart from this, we need a terminal block. In this, we will connect the incoming power supply and the outgoing power supply. Apart from all this, to mount the capacitor and the MCB, we need a mounting frame. These two are to mount the capacitor and this is the structure to mount the MCB. Apart from this, I have an indication lamp here. I will use this indication lamp for on indication. And this voltmeter here, it will not show the voltage always. If we want to see the voltage through this voltmeter, then this push button will be used. This means that the voltage should be shown after pressing the push button. We will use this for the voltmeter. Apart from this, we have to use two push buttons. One is the start push button and the other is the stop push button. In total, we have to use these many electrical devices. Friends, you must be wondering how to use so many electrical devices. But when I tell you the wiring, I will explain it to you in a very easy way. So that after watching this video, if you want to design your own starter, then you will be able to do its wiring by yourself. Friends, now I will mount all these electrical devices in this box. So I have mounted all the electrical devices in this box. Now we have to do connection of all these. To connect, we will follow this circuit diagram. Friends, if you look at this circuit diagram, then the phase supply here, it will go to the MCB first, then from MCB to the M meter and from the M meter to the terminal of the contactor. So first of all, we will do this much wiring. Friends, you have to bring the incoming power supply and connect it to the terminal block here. So let's assume that we will connect the phase supply to the first terminal. So with the second terminal, connect a wire to this terminal. I connected it in this way. Now take the other end of this wire and give the incoming power supply to this MCB. If you look at the side of this MCB, then something is written on it. Like supply is written here and load is written here. So you have to connect the incoming power supply to the side where supply is written. And from the side where the load is written, you have to take the power supply and provide the power supply to your contactor. So what I have to do is I have to bring the wire and connect it directly to the supply terminal. So I'm connecting it in this way. Now we have to connect a wire to the output terminal of this MCB and provide power supply to the M meter. So for this, I will use this wire. I will connect this wire to the load side of the MCB and I will connect the other end of this wire to the terminal of M meter. You can see that this back side is of my M meter. So I connected this wire to this M meter. Now with this second terminal of this M meter, we have to connect a wire. So I connect this wire here. Now the power supply that will go from this wire, we have to provide power supply to the contactor. So here is the power terminal. So I connected it with this. So according to this circuit diagram, we connected the phase supply to the MCB. Now the neutral supply here, we have to take this neutral supply directly and connect it to the other terminal of the contactor. So for the neutral supply, I am using a black wire. I take this wire and connecting it to the second terminal. 
Now I have to take the other end of this wire and we have to connect it to the other pole of the contactor. I am connecting it to this terminal. Now I will get phase supply on this terminal. When the contactor is on, then I will get power supply of this point at this point. So from this point, I have to take a wire and connect it to the third terminal of this terminal block. Friends, in this terminal block, we do a marking. Like on the first terminal, we write P. On the second terminal, we write N. P means that the phase supply will be connected here. N means that the neutral supply will be connected here. After this, we assume the third terminal to be R. We assume the fourth terminal to be Y. And after this, we assume the last terminal to be B. This means that to this terminal here, we have to connect the red wire of the motor. We have to connect the yellow wire of the motor to the middle terminal, that is fourth terminal. And we have to connect the blue wire of the motor to the last terminal. Now what I will do right now, I will connect a wire to this phase supply. Now I will take the power supply from this wire and to the third terminal here that is to provide power supply to the running binding of motor, I am connecting this wire. Now we have to provide neutral supply to the common terminal of the motor. So this terminal here that is with the second pole of the contactor, I am connecting a black wire so that the neutral supply comes through it. And I have to take this neutral supply and connect it to the last terminal. This means that we will provide neutral supply to the common terminal of the motor from here. Till now wiring which we did, in this we did the connection to provide the phase supply and we did the connection to provide neutral supply. Now the starting wire is left in the middle. The power supply goes to the starting wire through the capacitor. Now we are using two capacitors here. So understand how to connect these two capacitors. See in your motor, the starting wire of the motor which is there, like here Y is written, Y wire is for starting. So the power supply that goes to it through the capacitor should go through the running capacitor and the starting capacitor. The running capacitor will always provide power supply at this point. But the starting capacitor has to be connected to the push button. As you can see, start push button here. Along with this element which is connected behind, two NO contacts are used in this element. One NO contact is this one and the other NO contact is this one. So through the second NO contact of the start push button, we will provide power supply to the starting capacitor. First of all, we will do connection of running capacitor. One wire of the running capacitor will go to the output terminal of the contactor, I mean at phase terminal, and the other wire will go to the Y terminal. So what we have to do is running capacitor here, this is the running capacitor and this is the starting capacitor. The value of the starting capacitor is more and the value of the running capacitor is less. So in this running capacitor, there are two wires. I will use one of the two wires of the capacitor to provide power supply. I will take one of the wires and connect it to the phase supply. Look here, I am using the output terminal of the contactor. Do not ever take this wire and connect it to the input terminal. We have to provide power supply to the motor only after the contactor starts. Now I will take the other wire of this capacitor and connect it to the Y terminal. Now we have to do connection of the starting capacitor. As I told you, the power supply to the starting capacitor will also go through the phase terminal of the contactor. But the other wire of the capacitor will go to the NO contact of the start push button. So what I do is, I take one wire and I am connecting it directly to the phase supply. So in total, three wires are connected to this terminal. Now this capacitor here, I have to take the other wire of this capacitor and start push button here. As you can see, the start push button is installed here. On the back side of the start push button, you have to use total two NO contact. Among these two NO contact, connect this capacitor wire to any one terminal. This capacitor wire is a little small, so I will loop a wire with it. I am looping it like this. After looping the wire, I will bring the other end of this wire and provide the incoming power supply to the start push button. Now if I press this push button, the power supply that will go after pressing will go to this Y terminal. So I have to connect a wire directly from here to this point. So for this, I use a yellow wire here. I connect this wire to this terminal, that is with the push button. Now the power supply that will go from this wire will go to the Y terminal. That is, we have to provide power supply to the starting wire of the motor through the capacitor. So I connected this wire to this terminal. Now after this, what we have to do, let's understand through the circuit diagram. See friends, all this power wiring here, we have done the power wiring. Now what we have to do is, contactor here, we have to do control wiring to start this contactor. 
let's understand how control wiring will be done see what you have to do is mcb here from the output terminal of this mcb or from output terminal of m meter you have to loop a wire to the start push button to provide the input power supply you can connect the power supply from the output terminal of the m meter or from the input terminal of the contactor to this point so what i will do is to the start push button power supply which we will provide i am connecting this power supply from the input terminal of this contactor that is i take the wire from here as it is made in this circuit diagram so for this i will use a blue wire here i am going to do complete control wiring through this blue wire so take this wire and connect it to the input terminal now the power supply from this wire will go to this push button that is to this push button we will provide input power supply directly from here see friends while connecting with the start push button you have to pay attention that push button here you have to connect this wire with the second element of this push button we have connected the capacitor wire with the first element and the other element will be used to do control wiring so i connected this wire with the second element now the power supply from the start push button will go to the stop push button so for this i use this wire through this wire i directly short these two terminals to each other now the power supply from the stop push button will go to start this contactor that is the a1 terminal of the contactor there is an a1 terminal below it so we have to connect a wire with it so what i do here is that i take this wire and connect it to the output terminal of the stop push button now the power supply from this wire will go to start our contactor so i connected this wire to the a1 terminal so i provided phase supply to this contactor to operate this contactor i have to provide neutral supply neutral supply i have that is i can provide power supply through this second terminal by the way my neutral supply is connected to this point as you can see i connected neutral supply to the second terminal so i will provide neutral supply through this to the coil of this contactor so what i do is that i am connecting a wire to this neutral terminal now i take this other end of this wire and connect it to the a2 terminal of the contactor which is below this side after this we have to make a holding circuit to hold this contactor friends if there was an ano contact in this contactor then in this condition what you would have done is ano contact of this contactor here you would have connected the ano contact to the parallel of this start push button but if there is no ano contact in this contactor then in this condition power terminal here output of this power terminal here that is phase supply which you used from the same phase supply connect a wire and directly to the output terminal of the start push button or to input terminal of the stop push button connect this wire by the way in this circuit diagram the ano contact that i have made it will not be there this will go directly to this point so what i do is that with phase terminal of contactor i will connect a wire with this terminal i am connecting the blue wire here for the holding circuit now the power supply that will go from this wire we have to take it and give the input power supply to the stop push button there is a stop push button here so i connect it here after connecting this wire my holding circuit has been made now after this indication lamp here that is i have to do connection of this indication lamp and we have to do connection of this voltmeter also so first of all let's understand this in the circuit diagram friends the on indication here you can give power supply to this indication from the output terminal of this contactor or if you want you can connect it with the holding circuit that we have made here so what i do is that wire which is connected with the stop push button loop a wire with this wire and provide power supply to it so what i do is that i connect a wire to the input power supply point given here so i connect it with this so the wire is connected now take other end of this wire and this is my indication lamp so i will provide phase supply to this indication lamp now we have to provide neutral supply to this indication lamp also so to provide neutral supply to this terminal block here i am connecting a wire with the neutral supply connected here now i will take the other end of this wire and provide neutral supply to this indication lamp like this now friends to operate this voltmeter also we have to provide neutral supply so to provide neutral supply to this voltmeter what i will do neutral supply which i connected here through this only i provide neutral supply to this so for this i will use a small loop of wire i will join it with this and i will connect it to this terminal now i will take the other end of this wire and provide neutral supply to this voltmeter i have connected the neutral supply to this terminal 
Now to check the voltage through this voltmeter, this push button will be used. This means that the voltage should be shown only after pressing the push button. So for this, to this voltmeter push button, I will provide input power supply through the MCB. So I have connected two wires to the output terminal of the MCB. One wire is going for controlling. I will take the other end of this wire and provide input power supply to the push button of the voltmeter. Like this. Now I will connect a wire with this second terminal of this voltmeter. And after connecting this wire, I will take the other end of this wire and to this other terminal of voltmeter here, provide phase supply to this terminal of the voltmeter. So to start and stop the single phase submersible pump, the entire starter is ready. Now I have to do a little dressing of wire here. So I am doing this. After this, I will show you the complete working of this. So I have done the complete dressing of this starter. At the same time, I have provided input power supply to this starter. You can see here, I have connected two wires through which I will provide phase supply and neutral supply. At the moment, I am not connecting the motor because I don't have a submersible pump motor. So I can't show that. In future, if I get a submersible pump, I will show you the complete practical working of this. So at the moment, my panel is ready. So now let's see its complete working. So to turn on this starter, first of all, you have to turn on the MCB. To check the voltage, you have to press this push button. As soon as you press it, the voltage starts showing here. Let me zoom in and show you. See here, if I press it, the voltage is being shown here. At the moment, it is 250 or 260 volts. It means that there is a good voltage to start my motor. Now if I press this start push button, then my contactor is turned on. You can see here that the indication lamp is also glowing. This indication lamp will glow when turned on. When it turned off, the indication lamp turned off. On, off, on, off. Okay. As soon as I press the start push button, this plunger will go inside. It went inside. After turning it off, it came up. Okay. So my contactor is turning on and off. But friends, if you go to start the motor, then at the time of starting the motor, when you press the push button, then you have to press this push button for at least 2 or 3 seconds. After this, you have to release it. We press it for 2 or 3 seconds because with this, our starting capacitor is connected. So when we press it, that's when the power supply goes through the starting capacitor and it will go into the starting winding of our motor. So to provide power supply in the starting winding of the motor, we have to press it for 2 or 3 seconds. After releasing it, the starting capacitor is bypassed. Okay, after this, when the power supply goes to the motor, then this emitter will start showing the current. At the moment, I have not connected any motor. So no current is being shown here. Now if you want to turn off the starter, simply press the stop push button, your starter will be turned off. That's it friends. So friends, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching this video.